Yo what's up and welcome back to today's video, you may or may not have heard the news that Rally and Gymkhana legend Ken Block sadly passed away on January 2nd this year. Since he was a big inspiration and especially motivation for me and I bet almost every car guy out there I wanted to dedicate this video to him. My first thought was to do a best of Ken Block but I think that's what many other channels already did so I came up with the idea to make this video about cars that I bet he would have loved and cars that are made for hooning and drifting. My deepest thoughts and prayers go out to his family and we will never Never forget what you've done for the car community. I hope that y'all can somehow still enjoy today's video and please let me know in the comments which one of these builds you think Ken would have loved the most. We have to start today's video with his own car, the Unicorn. I tried collecting some footage over this piece that nobody has ever seen before and you can really see why he loved this car. Our first build is this 20B free rotor swap Mazda MX-5 and it sure looks like fun. Now if you say that you can't drift an all-wheel drive car, you have to watch this guy in his 1200 horsepower Audi RS4. Next up, coming all the way from Lebanon, is this crazy E30 Turbo street drift car.
To mix things up a bit, we needed some American muscle again and this charger gets it all. This next Takuzuka Skyline received a Nesca V8 and revs up to 10,000 RPM. The next Subaru is called the Drift Taxi and you're gonna find out why. Twin Turbo LS V8 in a Japanese car. How does it get any better? Coming up is a man that just loves to street drift his twin turbo C5 Corvette.
Last but not least, we have a drifting legend himself. Drift guard. Drift. What the fuck? 